When we're writing programs, we often want to check whether certain assumptions or expectations are true or false. Let's say that we have two variables representing two different ages, namely age 1 and age 2. Based on their values, we want to print different lines to the console. If both ages are higher or equal to 18, we want to print you're both adults. If one of them is higher or equal to 18, we want to print one of you is an adult. Otherwise, we want to print you're both children. In Python, we can write these conditions with the AND or OR keyword. The first condition, so if both ages are higher or equal to 18, can be written with the AND keyword. With the AND keyword, we can get a Boolean value based on the values that we pass. If both are true, AND returns true. Otherwise, if only one of the value is true or none of them are true, it returns false. In this case, if both ages are not higher or equal to 18, the condition will return false, and the code block in the if statement won't get executed. Next, we have the condition within the else if. This condition can be written with the or keyword. The or keyword, we again get a Boolean value based on the values that we pass. It returns true if both values are true or if only one of the values is true. It only returns false if both values are false. So in this case, if one of the ages is higher or equal to 18, we print one of you is an adult. Else, it means that both ages are lower than 18 and we'll print you're both children. There is another logical operator which only takes one value. For example, if we want to print you are not hungry, if the is hungry variable is false, we can use the not keyword in order to determine whether is hungry is false. In this case, is hungry is false, so not is hungry returns true, and the line you are not hungry gets printed. So far, we've seen the and, or, and not logical operators. Beside the logical operators, we also have bitwise operators. Bitwise operators allow you to manipulate single bits of data. The first operator, the ampersand, is used for bitwise conjunction. For example, let's perform the bitwise operation with the integers 15 and 22. For simplicity, let's just visualize these bits. Now, let's see what happens when we perform the bitwise operation on these bits. As we saw before, the conjunction bitwise operator only returns 1 if both bits are 1. Otherwise, it returns 0. In this example, 1 and 0 returns 0, 1 and 1 returns 1, 1 and 1 again returns 1, 1 and 0 returns 0, 0 and 1 also returns 0. These bits correspond to the integer 6. So when we print the result of the bitwise operation, 6 gets printed correctly. Now let's look at the other bitwise operator for disjunction. We'll be using the same integers. This bitwise operator returns 1 if either both bits are 1 or if only one of the bits is 1. In this example, 1 and 0 returns 1, 1 and 1 returns 1, 1 and 1 again returns 1, 1 and 0 returns 1, and 0 and 1 returns. The rest of the zeros all return 0. These bits represent the integer 31. So when we print the result of this bitwise operation, you'll see that 31 gets printed. The next bitwise operator is the exclusive OR operator. This operator returns 1 if only one of the bits is 1. If both of them or neither is 1, it returns 0. This means that 1 and 0 returns 1, 1 and 1 returns 0, 1 and 1 again returns 0, 1 and 0 returns 1, and 0 and 1 returns 1. These bits represent the integer 25. Then there's the last bitwise apparent that just takes one argument, namely the negation. The negation returns 1 for every 0 and 0 for every 1. These bits correspond to the integer minus 23. We can also abbreviate the bitwise operations as the following to keep our code clean and concise. Lastly, there's something called bit shifting. With bit shifting, we can literally move bits a certain amount of places. Let's take this operation as an example. 
What we're basically telling Python here is that we want to move all the bits that represent integer 22 to the right by 1. Let's visualize what this would look like. If we shift all the bits to the right by 1, we now have a new set of bits that represents another integer, namely the integer 11. We can see that Python prints this integer when we perform the binary write shift. We could have also told Python to shift them by 2, in which case the result is the integer 5. Now let's perform a binary left shift by 1. This set of bits represents the integer 44. Maybe you've noticed a pattern here. When we performed a binary right shift by 1, the result was 11, which is exactly half of 22. When we performed a binary right shift by 2, the result was 5, which is a quarter, rounded down. Then when we performed a binary left shift by 1, the result is 44, which is exactly 22 times 2. Performing a binary right shift is the same as an integer division by 2. And shifting it by 2 is the same as an integer division by 4. A binary left shift by 1 is the same as multiplying it by 2. And shifting it by 2 bits would be the same as multiplying it by 4. Let's recap what we've learned about logical and bitwise operations. The AND, NOT, and OR operators return either false or true based on the values that we pass. These operators are very useful in if statement conditions. The bitwise AND, OR, exclusive, and NOT operators allow us to manipulate single bits of data. They return either 0 or 1 based on the bits that are passed, or the bits that correspond to the integer that we pass. You cannot use them with floating point numbers. And we can perform a binary right shift or left shift, which shifts the bits a certain amount to the right or to the left, and returns the integer that corresponds to the new set of bits.